Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at the new update to the hex flow. And this is update version 0.3.1. And I did miss version 0.2 along with uh, version 0.2.1, the hotfix, and version 0.3. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can take a look at all the different updates along the way. And in this video, we're going to cover everything all the changes to it and you can easily update it through the Vita homebrew browser no problem just hit the download button and it will automatically update for you so let's just jump into it here let's bring up that audio and hear all the sound effects a little lag there and we have the date or I'm sorry, not the date, but the time, the Wi-Fi icon, and the battery percentage, along with the battery icon on the upper right-hand corner. And the number 60 on the upper left-hand corner is actually a plugin I use, so I can keep track of how many frame rates I'm looking at here. Very nice, there's no music. Let's check out the details. Oh, cool so we can move the game here a little bit nice let's go back let's change the category by pressing the uh, not circle but the square button we're now under homebrew very good and we have a nice little 3d effect to all these icons well some of them these are a little bit flat not sure why Here's the details. Pretty cool. Let's hit categories one more time. We're under PSP. But this is the PSP emulators installer. So here you would see all of your adrenaline bubbles in this category. I don't currently have any. Just the PSP emulators installer. And there is all. Pressing start will get you to the settings, the startup categories under game so we can change that to whatever we like by pressing X. So I'll just leave it at all and reflection effects so on. Let's go back. Oh nice. So you see the reflection on the bottom there like it's hovering over water or something. Let's go back and turn it off and now it's gone back to the start and sounds we have off and on so the sound effect is now removed and theme color is gray we got black purple orange blue red yellow green gray let's go with blue looks good pressing start custom background on hmm so you could probably change the background, whoops, I just changed the view here, by pressing the circle button. Let's press it one more time, there's the big view, there's one of the new features. Nice. Oh, this is cool. And this is a really nice UI here. Perfect. No reflection. Let's go to the settings and turn on the reflection and see where we're at. Nice. Whoops. Let's change the view one more time. So the reflection will work on all different view modes. Uh oh. I think I lagged it out there. Yep, the application froze. I'm not sure why. We'll restart it here. Back under our settings, there is a new option here that says download covers. So let's hit X. 
and it's now downloading 38 covers so it found I guess it scanned my folders and we'll see here in just a second what these are <clears throat> okay let's go back and let's see if there's any changes So there was a few changes with my covers, like this one. I don't remember seeing that cover. And it's basically updating exactly how the cover would look if you picked up the game at the store. And some of them just had like this random picture on it that was downloaded from another application. So it looks really good. It looks a lot more professional. You can see this one was updated along with this one. My Dragon Ball Z looks cool. So yeah, it's it's great. It's coming together very well. And I'm excited to see what else they're going to be able to do with this. Wow, those titles right there. The Lum Luminous, Hobbit, Star Wars, and The Lord of the Rings. That looks so cool right there all together like that. Let's change the category to games. Look at these beautiful covers. Wow. Amazing job, guys. Wonderful. Look at all these. Looks great. So yeah, they continue to bring us great updates to the app. And Vita Hex Games is killing it. Thank you so much for your hard work. So that is it for this one guys, I just wanted to cover it real quick and show you all the updates to this app and I'll continue to cover updates along the way here hopefully and I don't miss out on it. So thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up, any questions comment down below and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one and many others in the future. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.